some dude just won a photography contest with an AI generated image. Yeah, he won an international Sony world photography contest without leaving his keyboard. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna show you how you can spot AI images and especially watch this if you're one of these judges, okay? Some of y'all are like, oh, I'm too smart for AI. AI can't trick me. I can always spot this. But some people think they can always spot a toupee or a nose job or a boob job or something. This is the toupee fallacy. You're only spotting the bad toupees. The good toupees get right past you, but you don't know it, okay? As I dig through a feed of AI images, there are some images, even knowing they're AI, where I cannot find any telltale signs, but a lot of them I can spot. The first sign, fingers and toes. This is incredibly hard for AI because AI doesn't know how we actually function. Not all pictures are like this with all the fingers and toes like separated. Instead, sometimes they come from the side and here it looks like I just got one big finger, right? If you're just looking at a single image and you don't have these functions. So as we look through images, we frequently see just messed up gross fingers and toes because the AI, believe it or not, thinks this is what a hand looks like because sometimes you only see three fingers. So always check out the fingers and toes in images. Now, Mid Journey version five, which this image was generated with, promises to provide better hands, but it's still somewhat fallible. Here's another image. It actually looks like a really good image, but if you look at her hand, it's just a little messed up. In the Mid Journey Discord, if you go to hashtag in the world, you can see images that people have used in real life. This person was generating designs for their nails. On the left, you see the Mid Journey generated image, and on the right, you see an actual photo of human hands. And you can see the Mid Journey generated image is scary, but people often don't notice these things. You have to look at the details. Here's an image somebody generated of Bane doing yoga, because that's the kind of thing that's happening in Discord right now. His hands look pretty good, though I do think he has an extra thumb. But, well, look at his feet. First, he's got at least three feet and the toes are all messed up. So we have taught Mid Journey version five to do hands and maybe Mid Journey version six will know how to do feet. But right now, it's a real weakness. While Mid Journey version five is okay at fingers, hit or miss, the other ones are completely bad at fingers. So most AI generated images now, you will notice they do not have hands. People have a lot of hands in their pockets or hands sort of hidden behind them. You can't use the absence of hands in an image to prove that the image is AI. But if you do see hands in the image and they are well formed, it is one clue that it might be a true image or an image generated with better quality AI software. Even Mid Journey still has problems with body shape, overall shape. And this is something people aren't that keen to notice. Like we definitely lock on to the eyes of an image because we're human beings. And if an eye is just one centimeter out of place or slightly misformed, then we will know something is wrong. Like we, we feel it before we even think it, but we can miss big problems in the shape of the body because we're just not that tuned into it. So this image is an actual image used by the Maryland Department of Health and it is AI generated and it looks pretty flawless. But as I look closely, look at her far shoulder, her left shoulder, and you can see it just doesn't quite match up right. Like look at the collar of her shirt, it sort of ends abruptly. And that's the type of body shape misformation that AI frequently shows. Other things to look for are skin textures, like a little bit waxy skin seems to be a signature of AI. People tend to never have pores or blemishes. You don't see veins in the eye, little red veins that all of us, all humans have, they aren't there. And also people tend to look more like models. The reason being AI learns from images that it finds on the web, on stock agencies, and a disproportionate number of the models in those are actually paid models. And a disproportionate number of those images have been photoshopped to remove blemishes or to smooth the skin. And so AI actually has an unrealistic expectation of what human beings look like. It is generating an idealized version of humans because that is what it's seeing. Here's another image from the In the World. This one was used in an advertising campaign for the bottle of whatever it is there. It looks pretty realistic, but if you zoom in, you see her face is mannequin-like. The skin is too waxy, too perfect. She has no veins in her eyes at all. Again, this does not prove that it's AI because people do this in Photoshop, like bad Photoshop also looks just like this, but it is one sign that it could be AI. 
Here's another AI generated image. This one is pretty flawless to my eye, but the skin texture is just a little bit weird and a little bit too waxy. Another trait to look for is messed up text because no AI image generation model right now can quite handle text. This might be to postpone like trademark and copyright allegations and lawsuits because if it can't generate text, then Coca-Cola is not going to sue them for putting the Coca-Cola brand in an image, right? This image looks almost perfect until you zoom in and you start to look at the text. Like look, look in the background, it almost looks like Coca-Cola up there. If you look at the camera there, we can see all the letters are messed up. It's almost dreamlike, right? That's the way text always looks to me in a dream. Here's another image that again, could be flawless. I mean, the cars are a little weird, but if you zoom in on the text, that's a sure sign that this is an AI generated image. Another possible sign that it could be AI is if there's no text at all in the image. If there's a crowd of 30 people and not one of them has a logo or brand or something, then it could be an AI image. Photographers out there, AI images frequently have impossible lighting. So use your understanding of lighting design to double check whether the lighting in an image is possible. Looking at this image, zooming in on his eyes, you can see he has a catch light in his eyes. He is lit from upper camera right with like a big round sort of softbox thing. But that is not the light in the environment. You can see he's holding some sort of torch that is lighting up his beard, but then there's another light source also, right? Now, this could be a studio shot and the photographer wasn't being realistic. They just set up a softbox. Either way, you can tell it's not a realistic image that was captured in the woods. Also, both of his hands are all jacked up. Here's a very realistic image. Test yourself. Can you spot the flaw here? The birds don't have shadows. AI didn't calculate that correctly. Even the most advanced AI is still pretty bad at generating symmetrical clothing. So frequently you'll have mismatched left and right sides. Here's an example, another real world example from in the world of all these are AI generated couples. And I had a very hard time finding flaws in any of them. But if you look at this one, you can see her suspenders have different types of clasps on the left and the right. Now that doesn't mean that nobody has asymmetrical clothing, but it is something I frequently see repeated. Here's another example. This image seems very realistic, but once you zoom in, you can see one side of his collar is different from the other and human clothing is generally very symmetrical through the collar. Another sign to look for is inconsistent depth of field. Depth of field is how blurry the background is. And if you're a photographer and you shoot with like fast prime lenses like F14 primes, you're probably very familiar with how this should work. And if you were a Photoshop person like me and you have to Photoshop something in a different part of the depth of field, then you've probably learned that you need to blur things in very careful ways to make it match up and make it pass. AI is very good at depth of field. It's actually pretty shocking, but it can find some flaws. Like this is another real world image that was used commercially. And the only real flaw I could find on it was the hair of the woman on the left is blurred inconsistently. You can see her shoulder is nice and sharp as if it's in focus, but the hair right next to it is out of focus because the shoulder is actually closer to the camera. It should be blurrier than the hair. Background details tend to be really bad in AI images, not necessarily the fault of the AI, but more the fault of the human operator generating the AI images. But given multiple options when you generate AI images, and some of them will almost always have flaws, but human operators tend to look only at the subject, only at the focal point, and we don't really carefully inspect the background. So you should do that and see if you can find a flaw that the person who generated it overlooked. When you look at these two images, you immediately make eye contact with the subject. You spend most of your time examining the face, and then you might look at her overall form, her outfit, and you get a sense for the background, but you tend not to inspect the background closely. But if you want to detect AI images, you should spend most of your time on little background details, like this weird tire that just has some weird almost writing thing in the middle of it. Like the weird mess of handlebars here where AI just couldn't make functional handlebars, but sort of had something that feels like handlebars. These obviously passed because these images, again, were used commercially because many humans looked at this and did not look at those little details. AI is not good at generating AI images of civilians like you or me, but celebrities like the Pope or Elon Musk or Donald Trump, 
AI is very good at generating them because they have many images out in the general media and that is the way AI learns to create images. If you find images of celebrities that look completely realistic but they are behaving in a way that is completely unrealistic for them, that's a good sign that it's fake. Believe it or not, many people were fooled by these images of Donald Trump being arrested. Now there's lots of things that would indicate this is fake. Everything is kind of waxy, his hair is a little weird, you can see the officer in the foreground here has only three fingers, like he's a Simpson. There's lots of writing in it, but none of the writing actually makes sense. Also, Donald Trump has like a utility belt, like a police officer would be wearing because the AI just went crazy with the utility belts. So it is not a good AI image and yet it fooled people. Why? Because this is something that people wanted to see. Confirmation bias is very powerful and people who didn't like Donald Trump were excited to see him being arrested and thus they didn't want to question it further. People who do like Donald Trump also frequently believe that he is being treated unfairly and so they are also likely to believe this image and as a result many people did share this image and it took off. We have some of the same dynamics with this widespread image of the Pope wearing a white puffy coat. Of course these are both AI images. Now one sign that it's not real is he's wearing different coats and what are the odds that he has two full length puffy coats? Also on the image on the left you can see snaps on one side but not on the other side where they should fit into. But the biggest sign is that the Pope doesn't wear big white puffy coats. If something seems too interesting, too good to be true, or too perfectly fits some kind of mold, then it's probably fake. I've given you newfound powers for recognizing AI images, but with great power comes great responsibility. Be careful about false positives. That is identifying a real image as an AI image because I threw up a test the other day where I mixed two AI images with one real image and many people falsely identified the real image as an AI image even though I did not solicit that response. This is going to happen more and more and in fact I predict that celebrities are going to be caught doing something ridiculous and they're going to deny it by saying the image is AI generated even though it's a real image. We are not going to know what is real or fake and the way around this is to act like a journalist, to look for the source and to not trust a single source but to have two different sources with both sources supporting the image. Now I'm making this in April of 2023 and you're watching it at some point in the future and if it's far in the future then some of this will have changed. AI engines will have gotten much better already. For example, Midjourney is on version 5 now, version 6 is going to be released in June and that promises to improve on the text rendering. So that might have already disappeared by the time you're watching this. AI images have improved dramatically over the course of the next year and if you extrapolate that out it will be next to impossible to identify them in a year from now. This is like some crazy Blade Runner stuff, right? I want to help people identify AI images but at the same time I know AI is watching this and making itself a to-do list. They are going through and checking off every little thing that identifies an image as fake and very soon you will not know the difference. We really need some sort of integrity validation. We need camera manufacturers including smartphone manufacturers to build in digital signatures that are included in the image that can be used to verify that no significant editing has happened and that it was generated by a camera made by that manufacturer. Then we need apps or operating systems that display those images to be able to read that and validate that it is indeed a genuine image and show you some sort of check mark so that you can tell at least the images that are real because otherwise we're going to question everything. <laughs> Scammers are already using it to steal from people. You can generate images of somebody's dream partner, create images from them that have never been seen on the web that could not be traced back doing a variety of different scenarios. If a person likes golf, you could make a beautiful woman doing golf and if the victim says, whoa, what if this is a catfish? Like hold up a sign with my name and three fingers so I know it's real. Guess what? You could do that with AI. There are a few things you can't do here in April of 2023, you still can't really generate video and you certainly can't do a live FaceTime. So if you do want to prove that somebody is who they are and not AI, get them to do one of those two things. In the comments down below, I'd love to hear how you spot fake images and where you think this whole AI imaging mess is going. Thanks.